Yes. I'm a member of another country. I'm a foreigner as you can see. <laughs> it's not your Libre. So welcome to an off-hours uh, CP weekly vlog here. Um, we are actually in the shop that I learned how to do any of my woodworking skills in. This is my dad's home shop. So what we're going to be doing here tonight is taking all these old floorboards and we're going to be planing them down and making them into smaller chunks so we can wrap our beams with it for the burnt house project. So I'm going to take you through how to do that and show you how to prep a board that's either came out of an old house or some barn wood or anything like that so you can prep it so you can actually work with it. A lot of times people don't understand how difficult it may be to work with um, until you start working with it. So I'll start with the nails. So this is just a board that we took out and obviously this is the bottom of it here. So we got nails in here. And so before we run it through this planer we got to make sure every single nail is out there because this metal will ruin this planer blade. But then what you gotta make sure you do here is you'll get in here and you wanna check the top of the board for anything, any nail, any screw head, any sort of foreign object you don't want to go into this planer. I got my blade depth set a little deeper than normal. Um, because I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but these boards bow a little bit, so um, it's going to be taller in the center. So that's another reason why we're planing them down, but it's going to be taller in the center. So I'm going to make sure, even though that's sticking through quite a ways, it's going to be very minimal in the center here. So now we're using the square side, we're using the true side against the fence here. So you don't want to use that side, obviously, because your cut is going to be all sorts of crooked. So this side is going to go against the fence here. So you want that side because that's going to get your get you a straight cut. Of course, as always, eye protection and ear protection. So this is just a portable planer here and we have the depth set at just a little shy of three quarters of an inch so a lot of times this wood is three quarters of an inch so we want to slowly take the depth out of it we don't want to just crank it as low to the size we want it and cram it through the planer so we just want to take a little bit off at a time a little bit off at a time we'll kick on our dust collection over here this will help a little bit with dust in the air If you could see what we did, um, I was slowly turning it shorter and shorter and shorter, shrinking that because I didn't want to take tons and tons of wood out. So you'll still have little checks like this and stuff like that. We'll take that out with a sander. So if we're doing a lot of this wood, what we'll do is we'll cut it all down all at the same time, we'll cut a bunch of stuff, a bunch of strips like this, long, short, whatever and we'll run them all through at the same thickness. We'll run through a bunch of times and we'll slowly, every time we go around through all the boards, we'll slowly crank it down, crank it down, crank it down. That ensures that this thickness is the same on every single board. And you can see how beautiful the grain is on this wood and why we wanted to expose it. 
So if you if you look at this side, <laughs> you can see they would never think that this beautiful grain was on this side. So it just really comes to life when you put it through a planter like that and expose that grain. So before we finish it, of course, we'll want to sand this down about a 120 and then to a 220 finish sand and then we'll seal it all up. Basically what that extra sanding does, you can't see it right now, but the planer actually gives it little check marks. So as soon as you go to try and finish it, those are all going to pop. So you don't, want, you don't want to see those check marks unless you're going for more of a rustic look. And then we'll just take a, an oil finish and just finish this whole thing off and it'll look pretty sweet up on the wall like that. And that is how you plane down barnwood. And we'll do, a, we'll do an install video later um, with one of our guys and he'll show you kind of how to, how to rabbit stuff out and make sure joints fit tightly together and whatnot. So stay tuned for that.